there, my fellow wedding florist friends, and welcome to the Wedding Florist Social Podcast. This is the podcast for wedding florists to learn all about acing their online presence. I'm your host, Vicky Laffey, and as a wedding florist of over 10 years now and a certified digital marketer, I want to help you get the right clients, get more followers, and never be stuck for content ideas again. Click the link in my description to get your free Wedding Florist Guide to Social Media Content Creation today. Yeah, so I guess, um, so basically, well, welcome everybody. I um, we want to I wanted to talk this week about. Uh, well, you may have seen me post earlier in the week. Can everybody hear me? Okay, yeah, everybody can hear me now. I think definitely. Just I've just <laughs> it didn't work twice before, so I think we're third time lucky. We're okay. Um, yeah, so welcome everybody. Um, now you may have seen me post uh, on my socials earlier in this week uh, about the the three things um, that stop people posting on social media, basically. So um, those three things are lack of time, lack of knowledge and lack of inclination. Um, that inclination is a biggie, right? <laughs> because even if we do have the the, the time or the, the, the know-how, um, the inclination um, tends to get in the way. You know, there's other things to be, to be done and the day isn't there. Now, I want to specifically focus on the time for social media part of it today. Um, you know, it's something that a, a lot of us struggle with, you know, that there's never enough hours in the day as a business owner, basically. And uh, social media is the thing that often takes the the back seat. You know, while, while, while you deal with, you know, other life stuff and, and business stuff, uh, like school runs, dog walks, replying to client emails, um, you, know, you know, actually making the flowers that you're meant to in, in, your, in your business, Um excuse me, uh, you know, having consultations, things like that, you know, the list goes on. Um, and even if you do make time for it, it, it's usually lasting at night and, you know, let's face it, you're not exactly at your best or bringing in enthusiasm to your social media when you're, when you're tired and after a, a busy day, are you? Um, so, you know, by the time you do sit down to do it, it's it's more of a, a chore and a grind. And, you know, it's certainly um, it's not going to help you be your best online, is it? Or or post your best stuff. Um, so you end up kind of just posting for the, the sake of it, really, for the sake of getting something out there on your Instagram because you haven't done it in ages. And that prompts this kind of this this vicious cycle of um you know, posting it and then, you know, it not being effective and then you getting disheartened because it didn't bring in the likes or the bookings that you wanted or, you know, so, so you end up thinking, why bother? And then so on. And then it gets worse and worse. Um, so, you know, and do let me know in the comments, um, or, you know, in, in the, if you're watching on the, on, listening on the podcast, um, let me know in the, in, in the notes and the comments there, depending on what platform you're viewing on. Um, let, you know, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Is that something you struggle with? Um, so what are the three things that we can do to to help you with this, basically? Um, well, firstly, I would say um, remember your ABCs, uh, you know, always be capturing content. Um, I mean, OK, that doesn't exactly, uh, you know, <laughs> slot into place, um, but always be capturing your content. Um you know, th throughout your day, be making time to take photos and videos of literally everything you do. I'm always saying, and my Flower Up members will uh, attest to this, you know, I'm always saying everything is a content creation opportunity. And, you know, if you... Um, if you haven't taken any photos or videos, you're simply not going to be able to post anything. It's simple as that. You know, you'll, you'll not have anything to make a, a reel out of or a story out of or, a, you know, to put on your Instagram grid or your Facebook page, anything like that. Um, you know, with all the best of intentions, when you when you do sit down on, on the night time, you're really stuck. You're, you're making a rod for your own back in a way because, you um, you're not giving yourself anything to post with. You're not giving yourself a choice of lovely images and videos and things like that. So literally be taking photos of everything you do, everything from a cup of coffee that you're drinking to, um, you know, something amazing that you've made at a wedding venue, like literally be taking photos of everything. And that kind of leads me on to the, the next one as well. Um, which is changing your mindset on it and, and kind of open the importance of it. Um, you know, when, when you when you start realizing that it's it's just as important as any other task in your business, you know, it's just as important as sweeping the floor at the end of a busy day or delivering those wedding flowers to a venue or 
you know, d- d- doing your bookkeeping at the end of the, the week or the month or uh, however often it is yet you, you do it. it they're, they're all just as important as each other. They're, just, they're all important elements of, of running your business. And um, so as soon as you start realizing that it's just as important as any other task, um, that, w- that will help you give it a higher priority throughout your day too. So when you're making it part of your work in practice, um, you know, I even, for example, um, have a you know when I'm when I'm doing a quote for a wedding I even build that in to my uh, delivery and setup charge I always build in time to take photographs um, so you know it, but, but you you won't be able to you know do do all this if you are the kind of person who just uh, is is constantly rushing around and and is. Um, you know, if all you're thinking is quickly, we'll have to get to that wedding venue. Oh, we'll have then we'll have to get back because we've got consultations this afternoon, or or we've got like uh, loads of funeral pieces to make uh, this afternoon, or um, you know we have to get back, and then and then by the time you get back, you're thinking, oh no, we forgot to take some photographs. You know, um, build that into your day. Be photographing these things as you go, as as well as you know photographs of your finished pieces at the end if you're setting up at a wedding. Um, so, you know, it's just just give it a higher priority, basically. Um, and the third one is is that there's always the option of uh, outsourcing to you know I know it's probably not the cheapest option, but if it really really isn't your jam, then absolutely. Um, feel free to outsource it. I do the same with my accounts. I have an accountant and uh, they take care of that. Um, You know, you may have a team member that could share that responsibility with you and take some of that uh, load off your back. Um, You you know, I mean, maybe you're in a business partnership with someone who who could, you know, maybe that's more their thing than than yours. Um, You know, they could take care of that and you could take care of other things that they don't like to do. So it doesn't have to cost you anything extra, but you know, if you've got help, then then absolutely get someone else to take care of it. Um, it there's always the option of uh, professional agencies as well to take the the bulk of the task off your hands. Uh, I mean, the caveat to that is um, they must be good, and uh, you know, otherwise you might as well just throw your money down the toilet. So um, you know, make sure you pick someone who you know maybe knows your industry and uh, knows what people respond to. Um, and another caveat is, is is that you you must still also maintain a personal presence on there too. You know whether that um, be you know posting to your stories for for example, um, or, you know appearing on your stories or, or, or making sure your social media manager is posting in a conversational way. At, at least you know kind of getting across you on on your social still because if all you're posting is just here's pictures of pretty things that we've done that's not very engaging it doesn't give people any insight as to who you are or what your business stands for um so hopefully that's helped you um let me know how you get on with that and um thank you for listening Well, thanks so much for listening all the way to the end of Wedding Florist Social. Remember to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. And if you want access to some free community and support, then head across to Facebook and look me up on the Worldwide Wedding Florist Community Group. I look forward to seeing you there.